dive into the captivating world of villainous level 99. I may be the hidden boss, but I'm not the demon lord. Join Yumiela Dokness as she navigates the complexities of being an overpowered antagonist with a hidden identity in this intriguing Odom RPG adventure. Subscribe now for more. Alicia leaves on a journey to find the Royal Academy and encounters an elderly woman who isn't feeling well. Using her beginner-level light magic, she heals the woman who is grateful for her help. Alicia, still inexperienced in magic, rushes to reach the Academy before it closes its gates but is stopped by Oswald, another first-year student who strictly follows the Academy's rules. Despite feeling sorry for Alicia, Oswald cannot bend the rules for her. However, he silently informs her of a weak spot in the Academy's wall used by other students to sneak in. Alicia meets William, another first-year student who helps her sneak into the Academy. As they're escaping, she accidentally bumps into Edwin, the prince, and gets taken to the principal. Despite getting punished, they recognize her talent in light magic and give her a free scholarship despite her common background. Later that night, Alicia is surprised to find Edwin coming to hide in her room after getting caught by the guards. As they talk, Alicia reveals what she initially thought of him and they spend time together. But when he thinks the guards have left, he decides to leave, with her urging him to be cautious and promising to keep their meeting secret. The following day, during the opening ceremony, she spots Edwin and smiles at him, only to run into an intimidating girl named Yumiela. Despite Yumiela's menacing aura, Alicia takes her seat, and as the ceremony progresses, she, along with the boys, start battling against Yumiela's dark magic. Through teamwork, they defeat her, but it's revealed to be part of a game called Light and Hero, where Alicia has three potential love interests. Yumiela, a hidden boss in the game, possesses overwhelming power, having been reincarnated into the game after her real-life death. Knowing the game's plot, she wants to avoid any battles with Alicia's party to make sure she survives. However, her high level and growing strength make her worried about her future. During the entrance ceremony at the Royal Academy, Yumiela's anxiety increases as her unexpectedly high level is revealed and she remarks that she won't be able to live a peaceful life. Shocked at the result, the others remark that there must be a problem with the crystal ball and Yumiela undergoes another test, but the result remains the same. She admits to her high level that the officials accuse her of messing with the device, saying it's impossible for a freshman to be at level 99 without defeating monsters. Yumiela reveals she's been hunting monsters for years, surprising everyone. Despite the doubts, the principal asks her to introduce herself. Later, she's left alone at the buffet after the ceremony where William accuses her of cheating, joined by Edwin, who says she's an attention seeker. Oswald questions her honesty and Yumiela realizes she's drawn the attention of the potential love interests. Instead of showing her magic, she suggests they talk to Alicia and walks away. She meets her maid, Rita, who suggests Edwin as a potential match. Confused by the term central wanted, Yumiela learns it's about her family's status. In class, the others openly gossip about her, and she wonders about Alicia's sudden close relationship with the boys. During swordsmanship class, William mocks her for hesitating to use a sword for the first time. Despite this, she suddenly stops, unsure of what to do, and admits it's her first time handling a sword, injuring William, who threatens her. However, she surprises everyone by swiftly dodging his attack, causing him to stumble and fall. Although she wonders if the fight is over, William refuses to give in and tries to attack her again, but she blocks his strike this time, sending him flying. Concerned over whether or not he's fine, she offers to help, but the teacher intervenes, leaving to tend to William. Despite how shocked her classmates are, she remarks she restrained herself. During practice swings, her attacks produce shockwaves, and the teacher never returns. In the next class, focusing on practical magic, Alicia and Oswald are classmates and the students are tasked with hitting a dummy with elemental spells. Alicia struggles with light magic, impressing the others and Oswald, whose known as a genius, shows off his elemental control. Yumiela, unable to wield basic elements, excels in dark magic and effortlessly disintegrates the dummy, shocking everyone. Despite the others protesting, the principal arrives, accusing Yumiela of cheating, but the teacher asks him to reconsider, urging Yumiela to unleash her full power. With Edwin's permission, Yumiela summons a black hole, terrifying everyone with its sheer strength before asking the principal if he's convinced now. The next day, Yumiela is called to the king's palace, where everyone is discussing her strength and the black hole. The king, knowing what happened at the academy, apologizes for how she was treated unfairly. Yumiela feels she deserved it, accepting their harsh judgment before he asks to make Captain Adolf to test her ability since he's not sure of whether or not she's at level 99. Despite Adolf's high level of 60, he finds Yumiela's control impressive and confirms her level. Next, the king asks to see her powers, so she uses her dark magic to summon spikes from the ground. The palace mage explains that dark magic, though rare, isn't necessarily evil, and the king realizes people are afraid of Yumiela due to misunderstandings. 
Ubiela reveals how she leveled up, though everyone sees it as dangerous. The king offers her anything, even marriage into the royal family, but Yumiela only wants peace. Secretly, she plans to escape if things go wrong and later, in a private chat with the queen, learns about the coming return of the demon lord and the kingdom's plans. She's asked to join Edwin's elite team, unaware of his true goal. Yumiela agrees to help but refuses to marry Edwin as the queen warns her about the opposition led by Duke Hillrose, who wants to marry her into his family. She plans to issue a royal order to prevent Yumiela's family from intervening, but it will only last for three years. Yumiela sees this as enough time but knows she must handle her family after graduation. The queen advises her to avoid the anti-king faction due to her attracting foreign attention. Back home, Rita offers Yumiela a marriage album, but she declines, choosing tea and enjoying pastries from the queen. At the academy, Yumiela notices girls becoming friends with her post-royal summons, while Alicia's bond remains unchanged. Boys apologize but distance themselves. Yubiela receives letters from boys trying to date her, noting those aligned with the king are normal but the anti-king members are forceful. One boy asks her to marry him for unification, but Yumiela declines. He claims he's smarter but hurriedly runs away when she mentions some consequences. Avoiding him, she encounters Eleonora, who invites her to a tea party. Unsure of how one socializes, she reluctantly attends despite finding her annoying. There, Eleonora urges her to give up on Edwin declaring that she isn't worthy of him. Yumiela declines her offer of friendship, causing Eleonora to assume she hides feelings for Edwin before Alicia interrupts their conversation and sits down, questioning Yumiela if she's the Dark Lord. Yumiela is surprised when Alicia mentions the secret Edwin told her about the Demon Lord's return and thinks Edwin was foolish to reveal it. Alicia, suspicious because of Yumiela's dark magic and black hair, believes she's the Demon Lord, but Yumiela denies it before William and Oswald interrupt, worried for Alicia's safety. Edwin confirms the Demon Lord's returning and William accuses Yumiela of it. She denies this, proclaiming that she's just a student, so he tries threatening her, but she refuses to back down. Oswald also suspects her due to her extraordinary powers, so Yumiela encourages them to level up to defeat the Demon Lord and offers advice. The boys reject it, saying it's dangerous hearing, which she wonders why Alicia doesn't trust her and decides to investigate. She follows Alicia, observing her behavior and discovers Alicia's past and her kindness, although noting that animals seem to fear her. Patrick sees Yumiela, but she pretends not to notice him as Alicia, studying with Edwin, describes Yumiela as a dark creature, increasing her suspicion. Edwin defends Yumiela, acknowledging her role in the fight against the demon lord before Alicia vows to use her magic for good, and Yumiela realizes she hasn't been reincarnated. Meeting Ronald, a new principal, Yumiela senses something wrong despite his connection with the king. He knows Edwin has been disclosing the secrets, understanding the boy's recent hate because Yumiela challenged their pride. He informs her that the royal family will deny the demon lord's return, but the rumors will keep buzzing and discusses the field lessons where students hunt monsters to level up, needing her help with the regional nobles. She asks how the boys will train, and he explains they'll undergo special training to reach level 40 before graduation. She aims for level 60, but he says that's unrealistic. Yumiela watches the field lessons, finding them too peaceful and useless for real battles. Patrick suggests a formation where everyone gains experience as opposed to Yumiela's solo approach before Yumiela unexpectedly uses the monster calling flute causing chaos and uses dark bind to immobilize the monsters, but the students fear her magic. Patrick admires her leadership but gets injured protecting her. Yumiela heals him with dark magic, surprising him. Despite his concern, she continues to use dark bind despite the others telling her to stop. The next day, Rama warns Yumiela to stop using her flute but is shocked to discover her ability to heal with dark magic, and she reveals how she once regrew her arm but nearly died in the process. She asks about the central noble's progress, learning the boys advance by solely defeating monsters, holding back the other's progress. Rama says Alicia needs to level up due to her rare light magic. Excited, Yumiela looks forward to Alicia heading into the dark dungeon, but Rama fears her methods. He decides to go for a different task testing magic tools' durability. She easily bends the metal provided, prompting Ronald to test it himself unsuccessfully. Later, Patrick asks about her discussion with Ronald, unsurprised by her scolding. During sword class, he invites her to spar, feeling grateful for her healing. Despite his injury, he admires her skill, but questions why she chases after swordsmanship despite her power. She reveals her desire to fight the demon lord, dismissing Edwin's claims. Hearing this, he admires her courage despite what the others think of her dark magic, and as they spar, he acknowledges her bravery and uniqueness, appreciating her confidence. She offers to heal him, but he declines, choosing a potion, but she insists on keeping it and uses her magic to heal him, causing him to panic. 
She notices everyone's fear of her, finding it weird as healers are typically well-liked. Later, she remarks the lessons are too easy and wonders whether she should use her flute, but Patrick intervenes and says it's risky. She argues that the monsters are too weak and suggests adding tougher challenges to level up faster and controlled injuries to increase focus, offering healing if needed. Patrick denies this, but the group agrees to use the flute. Summoning monsters, Patrick leads the battle as she acknowledges his tactics, realizing his rank surpasses hers, but worries about what would happen after the incident. They win, with Patrick getting appreciated while she's ignored. Feeling lonely, Alicia apologizes for calling her the Demon Lord, but Edwin accuses her of putting the students in danger. Feeling hates, she considers escaping until Patrick defends her, admitting her methods are questionable but effective. He angrily warns Edwin to back off as she inwardly remarks that she wants to be friends with him and that'd be asking for too much. During the summer vacation, Yumiela continues her sword training with Patrick, unintentionally injuring him due to her strength. As she heals him, she admits her struggle to control her power as her classmates notice her relationship with Patrick and ask about it, to which she explains her role in helping him level up. However, they become nervous, prompting Patrick to advise her to think of how the others will react before suggesting her methods. This leads her to observe the campus gossip, realizing that she and Patrick are a topic of discussion. In the library, Alicia asks for Yumiela's help to understand light magic since she's unfamiliar with it. Yumiela, unable to reveal her knowledge from the game, advises Alicia to think of her memories associated with light. Grateful for the guidance, Alicia thanks her, remarking that she understands now. Later, Patrick informs Yumiela of a gift from the Queen, hearing which the others wonder what their relationship is. After the break, the Academy gets ready for a martial arts contest, prompting Yumiela to join despite Patrick's disinterest. The competition begins, revealing surprises and challenges, including Yumiela surprisingly facing off against William in the final round. The duel begins with William launching an attack at her, but she effortlessly dodges, noticing his fatigue because of not being able to use the weapon effectively. She remarks that it's really boring and decides to use her powers for the audience's entertainment. Using a deflection technique like Patrick's, she realizes her sword is at its breaking point and uses her secret move to shatter William's sword with her fist, too fast for the others to even see, leaving him shocked by his defeat. Moving on to the magic display segment, Yumiela learns she's last to perform before Oswald approaches her, sharing what the judge's criteria is and expressing determination to surpass her. Later, Alicia impresses the judges with her light magic and gets a high score. Edmund surprises everyone with his smooth sword play, while Oswald gets a perfect score for his elemental powers. Yumielan, not having a plan and confused by Patrick's distance, unleashes her power, summoning a massive black hole, making the audience panic. The referee hurriedly tells her to stop it and get a score of 30, which she reluctantly accepts and wins the amulet, but later, Patrick questions if she really needs it, so she wonders if she should show him how strong her power gets with it. As Yumiela reaches the end of her first year at the Academy, she notices the fear still present from her previous summoning of a black hole during the martial arts competition. While Patrick remains the only person to actually interact with her, she's happy to not be harassed by the other boys. However, Edwin accuses her of being involved in Alicia's missing belongings. Denying this, Yumiela is defended by Patrick, who starts telling Edwin off for his baseless accusation. Hearing this, he reluctantly leaves, declaring that he'll investigate other students. Thinking of her in-game bullying of Alicia, Yumiela suspects someone else is targeting her. Aware of the other's hate for Alicia's common background, Yumiela intervenes when she catches a girl trying to steal Alicia's books, so the girl reveals she's acting on Eleonora's orders. Visiting Eleonora, Yumiela denies these suspicions, aiming to protect the one behind this. In a tea party imitation, Eleonora, connected with the anti-king faction, asks for Yumiela's company, which she reluctantly agrees to, worrying about Eleonora's true intentions. Eleonora tests her with cookies, impressed by Yumiela's honesty. Discussing Edwin, Eleonora asks for help aid, unaware of Yumiela's confused feelings. A while later, Patrick shares his positive view of Eleonora with Yumiela, asking her to reconsider her opinion of Eleonora. Although he invites her to the year-end party, she declines, saying it's useless for the high society before remembering the game's narrative, where Alicia selects her romantic partner at the party. Yumiela wonders if she should attend to find out who Alicia's choice is. Eleonora unexpectedly approaches Yumiela about her dress for the party, suggesting she should accompany Patrick and offering her help in selecting a dress. Returning home, Yumiela discusses the need for a dress with Rita, who reveals her childhood dresses which aren't suitable for the occasion. Despite considering skipping the event, a delivery arrives from the Queen, surprising Yumiela. At the party, she arrives wearing the Queen's gift, surprising everyone there. She observes Alicia's interactions and thinks of who her choice will be, but Patrick, surprised by her stunning looks, suddenly starts viewing their relationship differently. 
Uncomfortable in the dress, Yumiela remarks she should leave before Patrick asks her to dance. Initially awkward, she gradually enjoys herself and Patrick is about to say something before a boy approaches Yumiela and asks for a dance. She answers that she only likes boys stronger than her hearing which the boy hurriedly flees and Patrick depressingly repeats what she said. Since the term is going to end quickly, Patrick decides to invite Yumiela to the Margrave's domain but never gets the chance to do that. In recess, he spends his entire time in the dungeon, training and upon coming back to school, sees Yumiela holding a huge egg. He asks what it is to which she answers that it's her baby. Yumiel was approached by a girl named Jessica Monford who asked her to help him because their kingdom is being terrorized a red dragon and they don't have the power to stop it with their knights. Yumiel immediately agrees to this and travels to Jessica's kingdom. The Duke Monford mistakes her for the demon lord but sends two guards to accompany her to the mountain of the dragon. She suddenly realizes it's coming and quickly summons a black hole, immediately defeating it. The guards happily celebrate but she anticipates another green dragon appearing and immediately defeats it, as well before heading towards its base and taking the egg. In present day, she explains that dragons recognize whoever they first see as their mother after hatching. They suddenly realize it's shaking and take it to her room where she's delighted to see how cute it is. The next day, she wakes up to see how much it's grown and realizes that everyone's really grossed out by it other than Eleonora who excitedly admires it. Later. They decide to place Ryu in a nearby warehouse and Patrick reveals he's going to tell her something soon before Yumiela expresses her wish to ride Ryu. He cautions her to be careful but she unexpectedly falls off, wondering why Patrick's so concerned despite knowing that it isn't enough to hurt her. Later, she visits the town to get some stuff for Ryu since he's grown so big and gets approached by a spy from the kingdom of Remlist, asking to have a word with her in private. As Yumiela sits in a restaurant, the spy says he knows she isn't interested in wealth or status and reveals his kingdom doesn't agree with him. Yumiela remarks that Remlist has bad relations with the Margrave kingdom owned by Patrick before he asks if she would ever relocate to Remlist, disclosing that he knows people with black hair are looked down on here. Yumiela ponders over this for a moment and says she wouldn't but doesn't provide any explanation, saying their time's up as knights attempt to break into the building. The spy thanks her for her help and swiftly leaves. Later, she remarks that what happened today made her realize how she feels about Patrick and asks him what he thinks of him. Patrick says he's always thought they were friends and tells her to have more trust in people, although he can't really blame her. Later, Yumiela tutors Eleonora and tells Patrick she knows he has a girlfriend, which is why he's always out after school, but he fervently denies this. Yumiela makes up with Edwin over his past problems with her and he apologizes for his mistakes. Ronald tells her that Alicia hasn't been able to level up because of always being surrounded by the others, so Yumiela tries asking her to venture into the dark dungeon together, but she becomes terrified by this and apologizes, declining the offer. The next day, Yumiela heads into class and discovers that Alicia has been missing from yesterday. Thanks for watching Villainous Level 99. I may be the hidden boss, but I'm not the demon lord. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting episodes. Make sure to comment what you liked about Yumiela Dothmus's journey to reclaim her peaceful life and her struggles with fitting in. See you next time.